In this demonstration, we're going to have a look at creating address lists. So if we think about maybe in our company, we have tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of users. Last thing we really want to do is have to scroll through a massive global address list. So one of the things we can do is we can create customized address lists based off some attributes. So what I've done, I've come into my Exchange Admin Center. I've come to my Organizational tab, and on my Organizational tab, I've come to Address Lists. And what we're going to do to start with is I'm just going to create a container address list. So I'll click my New button. I'm just going to call this All Departments. So I'll type in All Departments. I want the All Departments to be based only on users with Exchange mailboxes, and we'll just save this off. Just give me a warning here. It's just telling me we've made change to the address list. Have to click update just to make it uh, valid. So we'll update. There's nothing in there at the minute, but we'll update it anyway. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new address list purely for research users. So again, what we're going to do is we're just going to create a new address list. But this time, we're going to create this for research users. So just type in research. Then if we just come down here, we're just going to go again for users with Exchange mailboxes. But at this point here, we'll browse this through. And what we'll do is we'll create this under all departments and we'll select OK. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to target this against something. So we'll add a rule. Click on our drop down. And we're going to base this on department. And what we're going to do is we're going to do that against research. Select our plus. So there's our keywords. We'll select OK at this point here. And then what we'll do is we'll preview the recipients this address list includes. As we can see, we have our research users there at that point there. So we're happy with that. So we'll click close there. Last thing to do is just click save. Click OK. Make sure we update it. And say yes. So we've now created the address list. And as we can see, based off the column up to date, it is indeed up to date. Next thing we'll do is we'll just move across to one of our users and allow our user to access that uh, address list. So we'll just move over to the client PC. We're on our client PC. We're logged in as a user called Nathan. So now what we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to download some address lists. So what we need to do is we need to come to our send receive tab. On our send receive tab, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to download our address lists. So we'll come down to our send receive groups and then what we'll do is we'll download address book. And then what we'll do, so what we're going to do is we're choosing the address book at this point here. So we're fairly happy with all of this currently. So we'll just select OK because we want the global address list down first. Now what we should find is now we've downloaded those updates, let's just go to our home tab. And on our home tab, let's go for our address book. And on our address book, if we go for our address list, so if we click on the drop down, what we should see is we should see research. And within research, we can see all the research users. And that's the end of this demonstration of creating a custom address list and then downloading that address list down to the client PC. Thank you.